What's going on everyone? Josh from Colossus Fitness and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the hip thrust machine properly. Let's jump into it. So first things first, a lot of these will be different. The machines are really nice though. This is probably the most common one, the Natalis. There are a ton of variations, but the principles are going to be the same. So the key thing here to start off is foot position. For me, I'm really tall. I kind of got to put my feet more towards the end. What you want to make sure is that you're not in a position where you can't hinge because your knees are going to pass in the middle of your foot. Instead, you want them about over your heel. So for me, this is what it feels about right. The second mistake people do is they'll have their feet inward. It's hard to hinge when you're actually having your toes inward. Instead, have a little bit of an angle, a little bit of a duck foot, strong position about shoulder width. Now we're good to get into motion. You're gonna rest your lower back on the hip thrust here. You're gonna buckle yourself up nice and tight. So for me, just like to get here, lock this puppy in. And here you're gonna sit up and you're gonna thrust up. So thrusting motion, Vision your stomach's going up to the ceiling and you're squeezing your toes. So here I'm in a strong position, I'm going to unlock the machine. And I'm going to get comfy, make sure my scalp is back, let myself come down to a comfortable place. I don't want to hit, this isn't helping me, I want to stay under tension. Now from here, I'm just coming up right until I get contraction. The mistake I made in the past is I do this, hinge way back, like I'm doing a, a bridge like you would in school. Instead, you just want to squeeze those glutes. Right here, I can get a full contraction, I can come down, big squeeze. Hands around the chest, they're not on the machine. Come down with control, big squeeze, one, two. Come down slow, power up. This is the thrust, make sure you get a full contraction of the glute. And that's that in a nutshell, come up, lock that puppy in, buckle yourself, voila. So we're not done yet. We want to give you a bunch of common mistakes so that way you can avoid making these and do this and get the most of the movement. So first off, as Josh already mentioned a little bit, it's about the foot positioning. So a lot of times people will put their feet a little bit too close, which doesn't allow you to get a full contraction. Or if they put it a little bit too far, it's just going to simply be awkward. It's not going to be able to activate your glutes as much. So we want to avoid doing that. Another very big common mistake is just rushing through the movement. This is a great exercise to really focus on squeezing the glutes. Squeezing the glutes as hard as you can, making sure everything's nice and straight. A lot of times people will just kind of go like this and just rush through and not get a full lockout, which is a big common mistake. And number three is just simply not looking forward. So I found the hard way, unfortunately, I used to do this similar to Josh, I'd always look up, and this just doesn't allow you to activate the glutes and squeeze as much. So you wanna make sure to look forward, keep everything nice and tight, and this little bonus, really want to make sure that you're not depending on these things right this is going to be very easy which is going to take away from the movement whereas if you keep your hands across here it's going to be a great way to really just focus on squeezing making sure you're getting the most of the movements and all that great stuff so we do have first link down in the description a full form guide 70 plus exercises completely free just click that down below you'll get the most out of it with every single movement it's like a personal trainer in your pocket completely free and thank you so much for watching Cheers.